So good afternoon, everyone. On behalf of Pete and Louise, it gives me the greatest of pleasure to welcome you all here to Will, the magnificent setting of the Byre and Shira, on this, the happiest of occasions. Today is a day of joy, and so as we gather together in a spirit of celebration, please feel free to laugh, to cheer, to applaud, and maybe even shed a wee tear or two. We shall see. And we're so grateful to you all for taking the time and the trouble to share this very, very special day. Each and every one of you is an integral part of this day as you personally witness the commitment which Louise and Pete are making to each other. Some of you will know Pete and Louise first met back in the summer of 2016 at the famous Garage Nightclub in Glasgow. Uh, there's been a few to make out there. <laughs> Where they were both working at the time. Now picture the scene. It's mid-morning and Louise, who is on the decor removal shift after an event the previous night. Now, from the far side of the room, Pete spotted a dishevelled and fragile Louise who was fighting a losing battle with a floral arrangement which was securely attached to the wall. Ever the gentleman, Pete offered Louise his Stanley knife. <laughs> Adding as he handed it over, this is very expensive, so make sure you get it back when you're done. <laughs> now the knife was returned and no more words were exchanged, but they had at last met. And soon, Louise set to work on her plan to score a Pete. She met his sister, Beth, at Cameron's birthday party and knew she could make her interest known this way. Maybe it would get back to her. Indeed, it did. As Pete settled down to breakfast one morning at his folks' house, his mum casually remarked, a nice girl from the garage met Beth and showed interest in you. Do you know her? <laughs> this is true, this is true. Armed with this happy news, Pete set his own plan in motion. He accepted the pending Facebook friend request from Louise, which had been lying there unanswered for over a year. <laughs> Sorry. And began his mission by sending a message congratulating Louise on gaining her degree. When asked Pete, how he would sum up Louise, he confided to me that Louise supports him in everything in life and that she is his rock, his partner, his biggest fan, and his harshest critic. <laughs> and he added, and I quote, Louise not only inspires me to be the best man and husband I can be, she also gives me the freedom, love, and help to do so. When I leave the front door for work, I want to turn back right away to spend every moment on this earth by her side. But I find the strength to go out into the world knowing I have her support, and that doing so helps her fulfill her dream of one day owning a Hermes Birkin. <laughs> <laughs> life wouldn't be life without Lou by my side. I love her completely. And when asked Louise the same question, she replied simply, Pete is the most ambitious person I have ever met. I'm in constant awe at how hard he works and how many plates he is able to spin. Pete inspires me every day to be the best version of myself and supports all of my decisions and ideas, the crazy ones included. He knows when I'm having a Louise moment and rides the wave with no fear. And she added, and again I quote, a lot of people see Pete as the grumpy guy who puts on gigs. <laughs> Lots of you too then. <laughs> Which is correct, she says. <laughs> but I see a side to Pete other people don't. I can confirm he does smile. 
And although he leaves the washing in the machine too long, makes me cringe with how blunt he is on phone calls, and insists on shaving his beard in the sink the day after the house has been cleaned, I would not change a thing. He has shown me what true love is, and he's given me a life I could only have dreamed of. And so, Peter, I now ask you, do you, Peter William Hutchison, take Louise Ross McGregor to be your lawfully wedded wife? I do. And Louise, do you, Louise Ross McGregor, take Peter William Hutchison to be your lawfully wedded husband? I do. By virtue of the declarations which you've made before me in the presence of all of these witnesses and by virtue of the powers vested in me, Neil Anderson, by the Registrar General of Scotland, I'm delighted to declare that you, Pete, and you, Louise, are now legally married, and so therefore I pronounce you husband and wife! <laughs> Where's your socks? Where's your socks? <laughs> On behalf of the entire family, it is my huge honour and great pleasure to welcome you all here today to celebrate the marriage of my daughter Louise to the equally wonderful Pete. Louise has already uh, achieved um, you know, both academic and career success, which makes us all very proud. Uh, you know, the latest example being that uh, Louise is embarking on a master's degree to become a chartered, chartered scientist. And you know, there aren't many um, chartered scientists in the family, so uh, it really is a fabulous achievement. Well done, darling. I, you know, I, I have no doubt that Louise will continue to do great things with her life. Um, she will, of course, continue to do that together with Pete, um, which is a great comfort to me as they are clearly so well suited. May your lives be blessed with love, laughter and fabulous adventures. Men are, are not so good at expressing how much pride we have in our families. Uh, and I just want to say publicly here that I am hugely proud of, um, of Pete and everything that he's achieved in life. That, and I mean everything. So, I, honestly, son, I, I am so proud of you. First time we met Louise, um, and when we left, um, Jill and I both said to each other, yeah, she's the one. When times are good, celebrate them to the absolute max. And when times are tough, which unfortunately in life, sometimes they will be, pull together. And that way, you'll have a happy future. Uh, I had written an incredible speech full of plot twists, drama, rib tickling humor. But now I'm married, Louise has told me this is what I'm to read instead. <laughs> uh, thank you all for coming today. I know for some of you it's been an absolute trek, but it does mean the absolute world to us for everyone to be here. Without you all, it simply wouldn't be the same. I would be significantly richer. I'd like to uh, thank Pete and Louise for an amazing day so far. Um, and I'd like to congratulate the two of you and finally tying the knot. We are here today to celebrate love. Now love is a lot like getting drunk and pissing yourself. <laughs> you can act a bit silly and everyone can see that you're in love, but only you can feel how warm it is. <laughs> Pete and Louise are a prime example of a loving and supportive couple. Um, they complement each other in a way that gets the absolute best out of each other. Pete Louise may, for better or for worse, be far better than worse. Love you, bro.